Good morning and happy Sabbath. I am so happy to see you on this Sabbath morning. I'm glad you're here joining me for Sabbath school. Let's wave to our friends, okay, and see who's here today. Good morning, dear Gage. Good morning, Adriel, too. Good morning, dear Capruto. We're glad you're here today. Good morning, Zachariah. Good morning, Micah, too. Good morning, dear Logan. We're glad you're here today. Good morning, dear Lucas. Good morning, Amani, too. Good morning, dear Emma. We're glad you're here today. Good morning, Chris Burley. Good morning, Bursley, too. Good morning, McKenna. We're glad you're here today. Good morning, dear Joey. Good morning, Austin, too. Good morning, dear Rowan. We're glad you're here today. Good morning, dear James. Good morning, Sophia, too. Good morning, dear JJ. We're glad you're here today. Good morning, dear Carmen. Good morning, Charlie, too. Good morning, dear Ada. We're glad you're here today. I am glad to see all of you in Sabbath school today. We come to Sabbath school to have a fun time learning about Jesus. Sabbath school is a happy time. Let's clap today. Sabbath school time is a happy time, a happy time, a happy time. Sabbath school time is a happy time, we learn of Jesus here. That's why we come to Sabbath school, isn't it? To learn about Jesus. We want to learn more about him. I like to play with my kitty cat when she is running this way and that. I hide behind my rocking chair. My kitty cannot find me there, but my father up above looks at me with eyes of love. He can see me hiding there right behind the rocking chair. Jesus can see us anywhere. I like to hide from my brother tall. I'll hide in the bush. He can't find me at all. Sometimes I whisper, I'm right here. He doesn't find me, though he's standing near. But somebody is watching every day. He can always hear each word I say. Jesus loves us so much that he is watching over us and can see us anywhere because he cares about us so much. Let's sing our song today, okay? Jesus sees me, yes, he sees me. Jesus sees me night and day. Jesus sees me, yes, he sees me. When I work and when I play, Jesus is watching us because he loves us very much. Well, our Bible story today, our lesson today, is about a missionary. And we want to be missionaries too, don't we? We want to send missionaries to the mission land, and we want to be a missionary right here where we are. We're in a mission land too, right at home. Well, one way we're a missionary is when we give our offering. So I thought we should make an offering bank so that we can save our money to take to Sabbath school and to send in so that we can help the missionaries. So what I did is I got a raisin container here, and it has a lid, and I cleaned it out. My raisins were all gone. You could get maybe an oatmeal container that has a lid or a jar or a, or a can. But I used my raisin container. And I got a piece of paper. Mine is blue. 
and I cut it so that it was the same size as my container. And then I put some sticky tape on there. And then I'm going to put the paper all around my container. And it fits. And then what I did, oh, let's see if I did it right set up this time. Yep. There we go. Then what I did is I found some stickers, fun stickers that I had at my house. And I put stickers on my paper to make my bank look pretty. You could color it with crayons or markers or paint. You could use your fingerprints. Or if you have stickers, I put flowers on one side. I liked those. And then on this side, can you see? That's my palm tree. That's my banana tree, actually, with a monkey in there eating bananas. So I thought those were kind of fun. So I decorated my bank. And then I took the plastic lid and I put it back on top. And then I cut a slit right in the top of my lid so that my money can go inside. And I made a bank. So I have my mission offering bank that I'm going to save. And then when I can take it back to church or I'll put it all together in an envelope and mail it to the church and then I'll go for missions. So maybe you can make a bank too and we'll start singing a mission song. So we're going to sing about saving our offering. I'll save my offering for the mission land, my offering for the children there, to tell them all that Jesus loves them too, offering for the mission land. There we go. There's my offering in my mission bank, and I'll save that next week. I'll put more offering in there for the missionaries. So let's remember those missionaries that we want to help to teach other people about Jesus. Let's get ready to pray today, okay? Let's get on our knees. Quiet time, quiet time. When we pray, it's quiet time. Kneel this way as we pray. God is near at quiet time. Dear Jesus, thank you for listening when we pray. Thank you for Sabbath school where I can learn more about you. Thank you for my mommy and my daddy and for my all of my family. Be with my friends. Keep them safe. Help me to be kind and loving so I will be a missionary for you. Thank you, Jesus, for always watching us and loving us. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Jesus, for everything. Amen. All right, it is time to get our Bibles out. And I said we were going to talk about a missionary. Did you know that Jonah was a missionary for Jesus? We are going to um, learn about Jonah today. So let's get our Bibles and we're going to open our Bibles. Are you ready? Here is the Blessed Bible. Turn its pages wide. Jesus watched over Jonah is what it says inside. That's right. Jonah was a helper for Jesus. And Jesus talked to Jonah one day and said, I need you to be a missionary. I need you to go to Nineveh. It's a city far away, and I need you to go there and be a missionary for me. Jesus wants all of us to be missionaries for him. We are a missionary just by being kind and loving and sharing and talking nice and, and showing others that we love them. Then our light is shining, and we're showing Jesus to others. So let's be a missionary. We're going to shine our light today and remember that we're always a missionary for Jesus. Okay, are you ready? This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. 
this little light of mine. I'm going to let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Let's be a missionary for Jesus today, okay? Well, Jonah was called to be a missionary, but he was afraid. He didn't want to be a missionary. And so do you know what Jonah did? Jonah took his money and he bought a ticket on a boat. And he went far away in the other direction from Nineveh. He got in that boat and he went down inside that boat and he was hiding in that boat. He went way far down inside that boat and he started to sail away with the boat far away from Nineveh. Could Jesus see him hiding in that boat? Yes, he could. Have you ever tried to hide? And you hide for your mommy or daddy, you play hide and seek, and you're hiding, and they can't see you? Yes, but Jesus can see you, can't he? Jesus can see us everywhere because he loves us. Let's sing our song again. Jesus sees me, yes, he sees me. Jesus sees me night and day. Jesus sees me, yes, he sees me, when I work and when I play. So Jesus could see Jonah, too. He knew that Jonah was hiding and that he was running away, and Jesus needed to stop him from doing that. Jesus wanted him to obey, and so do you know what he did? He caused a big storm to come on the water, and that water... The waves were very big, and they were splashing into the boat, and the boat was rocking, and the sailors were getting very afraid. They didn't know what they were going to do. Water was filling up in that boat. And so they prayed to their idols to please save them from the storm. But can an idol answer our prayers? Can it hear our prayers? No, idols can't. Only God in heaven can hear our prayers and answer our prayers. And the sailors were getting more and more afraid. And so the captain went looking for Jonah and he went down to the bottom of the boat and he woke Jonah up because Jonah was sleeping and he said, Jonah, you have to wake up. We're going to die in this storm. Pray to your God to stop the storm. Well, Jonah now knew about the storm and he knew right away why there was a storm. And he told the captain, he said, we're having this big storm because of me. I'm running away from my God. And I'm trying to hide from him. And he sent this storm to stop me. <clears throat> so he said, what you have to do is you have to throw me over the side of the boat. Throw me into the water and the storm will stop. Well, the sailors didn't want to do that. And the captain didn't want to do that. But Jonah said, that's the only way you're going to save yourself. And so finally they agreed because the storm was getting worse and worse. And so they took Jonah and they threw him over the side of the boat. And he landed in the water. And what happened? The storm stopped. And there was Jonah in the water. And he was so afraid he was going to drown. What was he going to do? He didn't want to drown in the water. But who was watching over him? Jesus was watching over him. And Jesus loved him very much. And so he sent something <clears throat> to save Jonah. What was it? You know. It was a very big fish. And that big fish came swimming out of the water and swallowed Jonah up. And then went back down into the water. Jonah was inside that whale, and he was safe inside the whale, and the whale was swimming in the water. Jesus sent that big fish to save Jonah. 
He was watching over him in the belly of that big fish. Let's sing our song. God was watching over Jonah in the belly of a fish. And he's watching over me when I work and when I play. He made us and he loves us so he watches over us all the time. And he was watching over Jonah. And he sent that fish to save Jonah so Jonah would be safe. Well, Jonah was now deep down, dark inside the tummy, the belly of that fish. But he wasn't drowning. He was alive. He was safe. And Jonah knew what he needed to do and what he wanted to do. He prayed right away to Jesus and said, Thank you, Jesus, for saving me inside this fish. And I am sorry that I disobey. Jesus is listening. And we can talk to him anywhere, even from the belly of a fish. Jesus is listening. <clears throat> talk to Jesus when you're happy. Talk to Jesus when you're sad. Talk to Jesus when you're good. Talk to Jesus when you're bad. Jesus told us how to pray. He helps us with the words we say. Thank you, Jesus, for your love to me, a better child I want to be. The more we talk to Jesus, the happier we will be. Jesus is always ready to help both you and me. He is waiting to listen for us. He's waiting to hear from us. And so Jonah was inside that fish, in the belly of that fish, for three days, nice and safe. And he talked to Jesus, and he said, I am ready to obey. I will do what you want me to do. And so that big fish swam up to the land. Jesus told the fish to swim up and he spit Jonah out. And Jonah landed on the beach, on the land, and he was out of that big fish. And the big fish swam away. Jonah was safe and sound. So what did Jonah do? Jonah obeyed. That's right. And Jonah went to Nineveh. He obeyed. Smile and do it now. Smile and do it now. When Jesus tells us something to do, we smile and do it now. We obey, don't we? We want to obey Jesus and smile and do it now. And that's what Jonah did. He was ready to smile and do it now. So he walked and he walked and he went and he went to Nineveh. And Nineveh was a very big city. And he went into that city and there were many, many people there. And they were doing naughty things. They were being mean to each other and saying unkind things and hurting each other and disobeying God. And Jonah talked to them about it, talked to them about God's love, and talked to them about obeying Jesus, and that Jesus loved them, and he wanted them to say they were sorry, and he would forgive them. And do you know what? Those people listened to Jonah in Nineveh all the way up to the king. The king even listened to Jonah, and they said, We are sorry, Jesus, for disobeying you and being unkind. We are sorry, and please forgive us. Did Jesus forgive them? Yes, he did. Jonah was a missionary for Jesus, and all those people learned to love Jesus, and they said they were sorry. Do you know Jesus listens to us? And when we say we're sorry, he forgives us too. We will feel so much better if we say we're sorry. Oh, Look what happened. 
that truck is broken. She broke his toy. Oh no, that was not nice. But look, does she look sorry? She does. I think she said she was sorry. And he is saying, I forgive you. And if she asks Jesus to forgive her, Jesus will forgive her too. So let's sing our song. Jesus knows I am sorry and that I feel so bad. But he says I forgive you and now we both feel glad. Don't they both look happy? Jesus and the little girl? Because she said she was sorry and Jesus loves her so much that he forgave her. Let's remember to say we're sorry when we do something wrong and we will be forgiven and we will feel so much better. Jesus forgave those people in Nineveh and they obeyed his voice. That's right. Let's pray today. Let's get on our knees and let's fold our hands and close our eyes. Dear Jesus, thank you for saving the people in the big city of Nineveh. Thank you for forgiving us when we are sorry. We love you, Jesus. Amen. Now, it is time for us to say our memory verse. And here is Jonah and that big, big fish that saved him in that storm. And our memory verse says, Obey the voice of the Lord. Jeremiah 26, verse 13. So this is a sign for obey and the voice of the Lord. Okay, so let's practice that one time. Obey the voice of the Lord. Jeremiah 26, verse 13. Okay, it's your turn. Are you ready? Obey the voice of the Lord. Jeremiah 26, verse 13. Let's obey Jesus' voice and we will be safe. And we will feel so much better when we obey. That's a good memory. Every memory verse we have is good. We just have one good one after another. Let's remember that good memory verse. Well, I had a happy time in Sabbath school today. Are you glad that you came to Sabbath school today? I'm glad. Let's clap our hands. I'm glad I came to Sabbath school. I'm glad I came to Sabbath school. I'm glad I came to Sabbath school on this bright Sabbath morning. I am glad you came to Sabbath school too. But now it's time for our Sabbath school to be over. So let's get on our knees and we'll fold our hands and we'll close our eyes and we'll be nice and quiet. We'll say goodbye to each other then bow our heads in prayer. Jesus bless us through the week and keep us in thy care. Amen. Have a happy Sabbath and a safe week. Bye-bye.